In the previous videos, we saw how to apply the automatic dependency injection to our example project using Spring XML and Java configuration. In this video, we will discuss the types of dependency injection we have. So there are mainly two types of dependency injections. One is a setter injection and the other one is a constructor injection. We also have a field injection, but we will discuss about it in the next video. So as the names suggest for the first two, uh, a setter injection is where we inject the dependencies into the class through the setter method. And a constructor injection is where we inject the dependencies through the constructor. In our example project, we have already used the constructor injection. Now I will show you in this video how we can use the setter injection by using the XML and Java configurations. So let's dive into the code. I am back inside the email client class. And here you can see that we are injecting our spell checker objects into the email client class using the constructor. Now to use the setter injection, all we have to do is create a setter method. I will create the method using a shortcut in IntelliJ. I will press Alt Insert and after, se after that select Getter and Setter option. This will generate our getters and setters automatically. Now as you can see we are passing our spell checker as the method argument. Now we don't need the constructor arguments anymore. So let's delete that. After that, let's change the Java configuration first by going into the app config class. And here, instead of directly instantiating and returning the email client, first I will create a local variable by pressing Alt, Alt and Enter. And then call the set spell checker method and to this method, let's inject the advanced spell checker bean. So, okay, now let's go back to our email application class and run the application. So as you can see, we are able to see the log messages which are generated from the advanced spell checker class. Now it's time to change the XML configuration. Inside the beans.xml file, I will comment out the part where we are using the constructor arg tag, which is used for the constructor injection. And in place of that, we will use the property tag, which is used for the setter injection. And uh, the value for the name property would be spell checker. And this property would be referencing to one of the basic or advanced spell checker beans. So inside the ref property, I will assign the basic spell checker bean as a reference. Back to the main method of our email application class. Uh, here we have to change the application context class from annotation config application context to class path XML application context. I have already added the code and commented it out for the sake of convenience. So I don't, so that I don't need to type it again. I will just uncomment the code and uh, comment out the annotation config application context declaration. Once it is done, let's run the application. So now you can see that we are able to see the log messages which are generated from the basic spell checker class. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more interesting tutorials. I will see you in the next video.